Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Pager here once again with another video for you guys. And in this video, we're going to be going through some Arrow Season 4 details, which have only come out sort of public in the past couple of days. Now, I would have done a video early on this, but there's other stuff like the Captain America stuff. Um, yeah, and some other stuff. So if you do guys enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like. Leave any comments on any on any of your thoughts about what I'm talking about in this video. And if you're new around here, make sure to subscribe. I will be doing um, videos like this, uh, similar videos along this line with The Flash and Legends of Tomorrow slash Vixen. I'll do Legends of Tomorrow and The Vixen show in one video. So to be uh, notified when those come out, make sure to subscribe. Or you can even follow me on Twitter. That link will be in the description below as well. So before we get into it, there will be some... I wouldn't say spoilers, but some people might call them spoilers. I personally don't call them spoilers, but some might, some people might call them spoilers. So don't watch the video if you're not inclined to spoilers in the season. But really, they wouldn't give them away if they were spoilers. So yeah, I don't think they're spoilers. So anyway, the first thing we know about Arrow Season 4 is that it's going to debut on October the 7th, which um, I think that's right. I'm hoping it is. So uh, October the 7th, so let's put that in our uh, diaries or our calendars, whatever you want to call it. Now, the season will actually be pretty magically themed, um, and Oliver will actually have some experience with this. Not sure in what way, but uh, I'm assuming it might be towards the beginning of the season. The season 4 flashbacks will actually probably be the best that we've seen yet, and that's a pretty big statement, seeing that the season 2 flashbacks were pretty good, like the whole Slade Wilson uh, saga, and the flashbacks as well as in the uh, just the season 2 story arc. And in these flashbacks, there actually will be a new love interest. Now, I actually have a theory on this, and if you know at the end of Season 3 in the flashbacks, he actually gets on a boat that says Coast City on it, so he might be heading to Coast City, he might not, but I'm assuming that he's going to be heading to Coast City, and there's been a lot of a lot of talk about Carol Ferris being in the show, which, if you don't know, is actually the love interest of Hal Jordan. Now, they've sort of ruled out that Hal Jordan slash Greenland won't be in the show, but they didn't rule out this, and there's sort of been hints that it's going to happen, so... I think the new love interest could be Carol Ferris, and then she might pop up in the uh, present timeline, but maybe in The Flash, because she does get those mystical powers, if you know what I'm talking about, I'm not going to spoil anything, but she does get those like, powers, and I don't think it'd fit in Arrow that well, so it might fit in Flash a bit better, or even Legends of Tomorrow, we'll have to wait and see. Apparently Thea gets a new love interest, uh, new love interest which um, I don't really care that much about. The big bad we know is going to be Damien Dark slash Hive, which basically we already knew from last season. Uh, Shadow Spire and both uh, or both Shadow Spire and Baron Blitzkrieg. I always can't pronounce it, but yeah, they will feature. Uh, Arnicky is said to be hired to actually take Oliver down in a in an episode, which would be pretty interesting. Now the actor who plays Maceo is apparently coming back, which I'm really interested in. Now I don't know if there's going to be flashbacks. I don't think it would, because I don't think it makes sense. Um, but my theory is that they weren't able to get Katana back, and not because the actress didn't want to come back. I think it might be due to Suicide Squad, the movie that's coming out. The fact that Katana's in that movie might make it that Arrow's not allowed to use it in the season because by the time the season's about to end, the actual Suicide Squad, uh, Suicide Squad movie sorry, would be almost coming out. So there might be some issues there. So that's my theory as to why Maceo would be coming back, but he died. So I'm confused as hell. Now, Constantine obviously was confirmed to be coming into the show and he's actually going to be in a Halloween like two-parter dealing with uh, Sarah's resurrection leading into Legends of Tomorrow, which I'm really interested in. Now, that's a Halloween episode, so that'll only be like episode three or four. So he's going to be early in the season, apparently. The Arrow Bunker is going to get completely revamped, um, which I'm really excited to because obviously we know what happened in season three with the Arrow Bunker. But it looks like it's going to get really high tech. Felicity's going to go ham on that bunker and make it really, really cool. We obviously know that Oliver's going to become the Green Arrow. Did I really have to say that? And the last thing is that Mr. Terrific will be de uh, debuting, I've already mentioned that in previous videos, and he'll sort of take over the Ray Palmer role because he's thought to be dead, but obviously he's going to be in Legends of Tomorrow anyway, so he's not going to be on Arrow anymore, or at least not in the role that he was. So Mr. Terrific will definitely take over that role and be pretty interesting. He's also black and he's also gay, so hit two birds with one stone there. Diversity. So yeah, that's basically everything I've written down and wanted to put in this video. The only thing I have an issue with season four is I'm not the biggest fan of all these love interests because it makes it like a soap soap opera and I don't mind it but when there's like one every season and there's multiple ones I get a bit frustrated because it sometimes takes away from the actual story so um, that's the only issue I have but if they do it right then I'm okay with it like the Theo Roy one the Oliver Felicity Oliver Laurel Laurel people Laurel everyone um, I'm okay with it but as long as they do it right. So leave your pins in the comment section below. What are you most excited for for season four? 
Did anything I mentioned excite you, get you really hyped for Season 4? So remember, I will be doing Flash versions and Legends of Tomorrow slash Vixens uh, versions of this sort of video. Uh, they'll probably come out in the next couple of days, probably over the next three to four days. I'll do both of those videos. So make sure to subscribe for those and I will catch you guys later. Goodbye.